going to be present perfect today. So uh, I'm going to give you the form right here. Uh, so you can see that it's subject plus have or has plus the main verb and past participle. And before we move on to the form, I just want to make sure you guys understand each part of the structure, okay? So for the subject, uh, you guys, you already know this, right? It's easy and it's going to be I, you, they, we, she, he, it, right? And with have and has, guys, um, I want to make sure you guys understand when to use have and when to use has because I know that this might be confusing, okay? And so for has, we use it for he, she, it. And for have, we use it for I, you, they, and we. Just like the example that you can see down here, okay? And so I just want to make sure you guys understood that. We don't say um, they, has. We don't say she, have. We don't say it, have. And we don't say you, has. That's wrong. So make sure you understand that, okay? Perfect. Now we can move on to the next part. Okay, moving on to the next uh, part of the form. It's the main verb, which is in past participle. And with this, there's no problem with regular verbs because it's the same as simple past. You just need to add ed. For example, uh, watch becomes in simple past watched. And in past participle, it's what as well. Love becomes laughed in simple past and it's laughed in past participle. Dance, danced, and dance in past participle. So it's the same. Call, called, called in past participle. But what is tricky or hard is when it comes um, a, the regular verbs, when we're referring to regular verbs. And it is hard because there's not a trick or, or you know, a form or a structure. You just need to learn it. You just need to memorize it. And, and it's hard because they change. So, for example, go becomes went in past simple. And it's been or gone in past participle. Fly becomes flew in simple past. And it's flown in past participle did and pass, I'm sorry, do, and then it becomes did and pass simple, and it's done and pass participle. Become, became and pass simple, and in pass participle, become. Speak and pass simple, spoke, and pass participle, spoken. So this is hard because, you know, you have to learn it. You just have to memorize it. And so I'm going to leave uh, in the PDF a list of your regular verbs. And I know, guys, if you practice those verbs and if you learn it, then uh, present perfect is going to be a piece of cake for you, okay? Um, but you just need to practice. So let's, let's look at some more examples and see when do we use the present perfect. When do we use it? An action that happened in the past, but we don't know when. I see you have constructed a new lightsaber. Your skills are complete. Indeed, you are powerful, as the Emperor has foreseen. Actions that started in the past and continues now. Or when the time comes, the boy must die. Yes, yes, he must die.
You've been raising him like a pig for slaughter. Don't tell me now that you've grown to care for the boy. So in the first example, which is from Star Wars, we were able to see that it's an action that happened in the past, but we don't know when. He built a new lightsaber, but it doesn't say when. And in the second example, which are actions that started in the past and continues now, we were able to see um, that he had grown to care for the boy, so he started that um, in the past, but he still cares for the boy now. Now let's look at some more examples with the present perfect. What's this? What are you, what are you doing? This isn't me. I have been falling for 30 minutes! You can handle it from here. Yes, of course. Thank you very much for your help. Good luck. Handle me. Who are you? Loki, you think you're some kind of sorcerer? Don't think for one minute you second rate. All right, bye bye. Hey! I've been staring at the edge of the water long as I can remember, never really knowing why. A negative is subject plus have not or has not, and then the main verb in past participle. What have you done to me? I haven't done anything to you, Jafar. What have you done to me? This was your wish, not mine. For yes, no questions, have not or has not, plus subject, and then main verb and past participle. Have you lost your country? My country? No, no. Okay, and that's it for today. Don't forget to practice your irregular verbs, guys. I believe in you and I know you can do this. So just keep practicing. And um, also wanted to tell you that um, you another great way to improve your English is to try to imitate. So I will challenge you this week to do that. Choose an actress, a singer, an actor that you like and try to imitate them. You know, it might sound silly, but I know it's gonna help a lot with pronunciation. So that's a uh, little tip for you. And I'm just gonna leave you with these little quotes here because I thought of you when I uh, saw them. So, you are smarter than you think, and you are braver than you believe, and you are stronger than you seem. Have a great week, bye!